Tonight, caring for aging parents, it's an issue putting severe stress on families. Research shows that caregivers often suffer anger, isolation, depression, exhaustion, and other forms of stress-related illnesses. It's a financial burden that's pushing some to the breaking point. One study estimates elder care demands on U.S. workers cost the economy over $28 billion a year in lost productivity. Charlotte Radio personality Ramona Holloway understands the stresses firsthand. <laughs> Ramona Holloway is one half of the popular radio show Matt and Ramona. Yeah. Beautiful. But her most important partnership is off the air. My mom was a single mom. I'm an only child. So it's always kind of been just us. Ramona is the primary caretaker for her mother, Wheezy, a former school teacher who suffers from dementia. When did you start noticing this shift? Mom was forgetting some things that I knew she wanted to remember and was struggling with words. The subtle changes eventually became too hard to ignore. I'm the mom now. Yeah. <laughs> and what does that feel like to you to be in that role? It can be confusing <laughs> and overwhelming. More people are finding themselves parenting their parents as the population ages. It's a transition that doesn't come easy. Moms never stop momming. They never stop thinking that they're the ones in charge. Setting limits is one of the most difficult parts. Driving, not a good idea. That's a major decision that I had to make. Faith has played a big part in helping Ramona make the adjustment. I get so hard on myself for what I can't fix, for what I'm not doing. And then I have to recognize the fact that I'm not directing this play. She's learned to be more patient with herself and her mom. How old am I? Um, I'm 30-something years old. You're 30-something? <laughs> is that how old you feel? <laughs> I don't feel it, but I think that's what it is. She practices gratitude daily. It was hard to change me into someone who was grateful for the parts of her that I still had. And it's something that I have to work on every single day. She posts videos of her on social media so she doesn't forget the good days. There will be this flash of greatness and I'll see my former mom. And the next week there is a sharp decline. Wheezy, who attends what the pair calls memory school three times a week at the Ivy, still loves to dance. The weekly visits are keeping her from the social isolation that so many elderly experience. What do you do to protect your mental health and not, as you said, go insane? Help is the only thing that keeps me sane. Research shows that caregivers often suffer with anger, isolation, depression, exhaustion, and other forms of stress-related illnesses. One Gallup study estimates that elder care demands on U.S. workers cost the U.S. economy over $28 billion per year in lost productivity. The kinder I am to me, the more I can relax into this whole thing and bring my expectations down. She's still breathing. I'm still breathing. She's smelling pretty fresh. Life is good. Her sense of humor, the armor for a daughter's love fighting to keep her mom as long as she can. The hardest part of this is the slow goodbye. Ramona says having a team of caregivers to help her mom while she's at work has made the biggest difference. One other thing she wants people to think about, everyone always asks how the parent is doing, but it's really important to ask how the caregiver is doing as well. But man, she was such an inspiration mm -hmm. to me to talk to her. And yeah. you know, so many people are going through this yeah. with their parents. It is so difficult to such a cruel illness to watch the decline and yeah. see the person there, but the mind not. Yeah, but she's going to help so many people with this story, I know.